I think he makes the right decision, and the reason I say that is it's a mulligan. If you're going for a world's championship and you don't think you're good enough to take a mulligan when, you, when you've had a less than, than quality ride, then I don't think you're really... Here, here's the thing. But bottom line is you can live with yourself if you tried to win it and came up short. If you come up short and didn't do everything that you could to win it, you're going to think about that for the rest of your life. Kate asked Lambert earlier in the pre-show if Chase taking that re-ride was a mistake, and I thought Lambert had the best answer I've heard. And it was, the mistake was not in accepting the re-ride. The mistake was in not staying on the re-ride. That was a ch Chase needs every point he can possibly get. 84 points is not going to cut the mustard for Outlaw. He's got to try and win go-rounds. He knows that. The guy is a great competitor. He's wanting to mix it up and try to win. Well, let's move to the present because there's some interesting synergy, right, with this pairing. Outlaw against a bull by the name of Mason's Missouri Golden. It is named after Mason Lowe. We've already talked about he passed away, unfortunately, earlier this year. Chase Outlaw and Mason were the best of friends. So if he's going to turn it around, what a way to do it on a bull named in his best friend's honor. Yeah, you know that would be special for Chase. That, that would be a, uh, a big moment for him. And this is a big time bull right here. This is a bull that is borderline championship round caliber. When they first started bringing him around, guys had quite a little success on him. Now the bull has put on some weight. He's gotten stronger, put on a lot of muscle, and he's legit, man. He's at 21 career outs, and he's only been ridden once in the big leagues. So much on the line for Outlaw. He needs this to stay relevant in the world title race. To me, it all comes down to if Outlaw can control his upper body to keep his hand in his rope. To Mason Lowe, Chase Outlaw does all the work, and Ty, it's worth 87 points. You know, as we talked last night, I, I just I have a lot of respect for this guy and the way he approaches this game. I think he's, I think he's as tough of a warrior as, as this sport has seen in a, in a long time, and I think he brings the, the part that matters the most in, in this sport to the table every every single time and that's just having trying from the bottom of his guts and, and and guaranteeing every time that he goes out there that he's going to be tougher than everyone else after the ride he's now with leah mason's missouri golden had to have a special meeting for you on that ride describe it um yeah it's a uh, it's special ride and especially Chad named that bull after a great friend, Mason, and uh, he was riding right there with me, and we got the whistle. Just, um, yeah, just a, uh, but yeah, it was special. He was right there with me, and uh, he's gonna be riding right there with me when we get that title. All right, Craig. Have to love the confidence oh. from Chase Outlaw. This is your last chance, by the way, at home to grab your snacks because you do not want to miss the final two riders of the night. They just happen to be the two best riders on the planet. Jess Lockwood and Jose Vitor Leme are about to lock horns again. Hey, everybody, Matt West here. Thanks for watching the PBR's YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to catch all the top moments from the professional bull riders. While you're at it, make sure you download the Ride Pass app and catch all of the PBR action today.